So Cache will go for the Albany. Um, she was a pretty impressive maiden winner at Newmarket uh, a month ago or so. Um, we bought her from the Breeze Ups and she was consigned by John Burke of Hyde Park Stud who we actually bought Mystery Angel from last year and he recommended her highly and, and her work was very good um, before she debuted and she'd been working with older horses and it wasn't a huge surprise that she won. Um, I think I'd have been lying if I said that we thought she'd win in the fashion, she did, but she worked very nicely this morning. Um, she worked with a filly that goes to the Queen Mary in Beautiful Sunshine and, and it, was a, it was a nice piece of work, yeah. She's out of a Teofilo mare by acclaim, you know, which would probably suggest that she'll get a bit further. Um, the fact that we worked her over five furlongs shows that she's got plenty of speed at home. Um, but as a physical, you know, she looks like a miler and, and I think that will probably be where her future lies, you know, into her three-year career anyway. Nicola Curry rides. Um, she's done a lot of work on her. Nicola's becoming a ever-increasing member of the team. She comes in two, three times a week from Lambourne, which, you know, she puts the hard yards in. She rides very well and, you know, she certainly deserves the ride. The filly that won the Woodcut, Loscula, she'll probably be a miler as well. She's been a very straightforward filly. She's by Galileo Gold, who seems to have made a great start with a national stakes winner and you know, it's great to have a, a nice filly for Nick Bradley who's you know, a huge supporter of the yard and she'll also go to the Albany. Um, they've never worked together at home but you know, they'd be pretty similar fillies and you know, they're both in the top three or four in the market for the Albany so it's pretty exciting. Novello, the plan before the National States was to go to the Norfolk and I, I sort of immediately after the race said that we're not going to change the plan, you know, the ground I think it was clear for everyone to see, you know, the, the form didn't really stack up that day and obviously Hugo's horse was very impressive, but Novello worked this morning on pretty fast ground and his work was good. He's, he hardly picks his feet up off the ground and I think he, he kind of won by default at Chester and, and the ground was very wet that day, so he kind of got through it, but um, I hope we might see a different horse in the Norfolk on, on much better ground. Air to Air was an impressive winner at Doncaster the other day. Uh, it's been a long-term plan for him to get to the Britannia and we had a couple of hiccups on the way and he had a gelding operation sort of after his first start when we thought he'd win at Newcastle and it, it seems to have been the making of him. Um, he's grown up physically, mentally and Jamie Spencer was pretty high on him after winning at Doncaster and you know he's a horse who his future might lie abroad but um, you know, he's, he's a fun horse to go to war with anyway. Dag so that I could buy one horse and the, the breeder Lady Cobham stayed in for a part of him and um, no it's, it's pretty special and to have a runner from one runner at Royal Ascot it'll be a, it'll be a fun day. Superior Force yeah he was he's a lazy horse at home his, his work had been good without being flashy um, he was a good maiden winner he had to go about his business and get it done and, and he was going away at the end and I think you know he got caught in a pocket at Newmarket and we all know when you get caught on the fence there and he didn't have much time to get away from from the other rivals and he, they actually put seven or eight lengths behind them and I think if they ran the race again we'd have probably looked to go forward and um, yeah he goes to the Windsor Castle, um, he'll stay the five very well, stiff five at Ascot and um, no he's a horse who I think possibly could have been two from two and, and goes there with a live each way chance. Loss with Eel, he gets two entries on day one. Um, he'll be entered in the Ascot Stakes and the Copper Horse. He's rated 96 and you know he'd be near the top of the weights in the Ascot Stakes. And he's from he's by Camelot out of a mare who's thrown a few horses who've you know stayed a good bit further than he's staying at the moment. And Holly Doyle's been doing a lot of work at home on him and, and she'll take the ride. And it's in the balance at the moment, but I'd be leaning towards the Ascot Stakes and no, he's a, he's a lovely horse with a big future. Apricot Moon um, was bought the mare sale by Sam Haggis for Steve Park in the Clipper Logistics. And she's a lovely filly. She won a maiden at Dundalk as a three-year-old and went straight up to the, um, to the Irish Guineas and ran a very respectable race in fifth, only beating a handful of lengths and was tried at the highest grade sort of all the way through the year and had some bad draws and a bit of misfortune. And, she, it was a stepping stone at Nottingham in the Nottingham Strokes to, to this race, probably the Kensington Palace at, at Ascot. I think the drop back to the mile will see a bit of improvement and, and she physically seems to have come along, a long way actually. She, she worked nicely this morning. Folas is probably, she'll hold an entry in the Buckingham Palace in a straight seven furlong and 
probably the Kensington Palace as well. Um, undecided at the moment where she'll go, but she's a filly who it hasn't quite worked for her. There was a muddling pace at Goodwood and she only got beat two lengths in a listed race. She then went to air and never really got in the race and finished well without really threatening over further. Um, and then the ground was far too tacky for her on Derby Day. And yeah, I think you know she's always been a filly that's worked well on fast ground. And I'd be hopeful that, hoping that we do get the ground, that she'll run a big race. Fun love, uh, she was impressive at Kempton twice. and. You know, she's a fast filly by Profitable and the ground slightly went against her and she was possibly going to go to the Mary Gate and we, so, you know, we didn't go there because it would have probably blunted her speed and Rosser actually said that day that at Kempton that it was standard to slow and you know, it couldn't be fast enough for her. So um, she'll get an entry in the Queen Mary but we run Beautiful Sunshine um, for the same owner so you know, we might try and split them up and there's the Empress Stakes at Newmarket over six furlongs which can often come up a little bit weak being so close to Ascot, so she could go there, but it's a toss up at the moment.